There's so much technology out there. If you're not utilizing it and you're not showing the kids how to utilize it, you're really doing them a disservice. I used to use the blackboard a lot. I had uh, sidewalk chalk in all different colors. Well now, I mean, I could never save that so that if students missed class and they didn't know, you know, what the notes would be, now I can actually put that on Blackboard and they'll have it at their leisure. It's just nice to be able to have access to the information that you're giving in class 24-7. I'm using the Mobi device and I'm using the graphing calculator on the LCD projector a lot. I think that what the kids really like about it, the Mobi, they can actually write on themselves. So a lot of times when we're doing the examples, I'll pass the Mobi around and say, okay, who wants to do the next one? And the hands will go up. Now, for some reason, if I say to them, all right, who wants to come up to the board and do these problems? I don't usually see as many hands, but maybe it's just because they feel more comfortable, they're sitting in their you know, seat and they're not up in front of the class that makes it better for them. And a lot of them just like to see what it can do, you know, as far as writing on the pad and having it project onto the screen, they think that's neat. The graphing calculator, you can put that directly on the LCD projector and that came in handy because a lot of the kids were typing in things incorrectly or they would have it in the wrong mode, degree versus radian, things like that. So they could actually see exactly which mode to put it in and they can look at the screen and see and look at their calculator and see exactly what's going on. And I also do the screenshots of the calculator and then I can write on the calculator and highlight things to make sure they're rounding correctly or just to make sure you know they graph. I can show them the solutions of the graphs by looking at the zeros and actually writing on the calculator and showing them the zeros. So it's really cool because you can do that all in color and then you can save that and you know put that right in your document. So again they have that visual aid that they're looking at and it's clear, cut, concise, and hopefully, you know, they're not going to have any questions after looking at it. What I think has changed most about teaching with technology is communication. We can communicate with 24-7. Uh, so if your student happens to be up at 3 in the morning, they can access some of the information. Every student at this school has to have a, a Blackboard site. And so that's a communicative tool to students, tells them their assignments, maybe when the next test is, and to parents and to the community. So they're constantly putting out information for these students. Learning is at such a fast rate, it really helps to reinforce to have it out there for them, review sheets, etc. We've applied to the real world. Today they had to go online and find cookie recipes. And one of the things that we're doing with it is some students will double their recipes, some will, you know, multiply theirs by one and a half. And these are skills that, especially as a mom, you know, baking brownies for a class, I have to be able to do that. That's one of the skills that we're able to do, but they're able to search it online, they're going to create a project with it, and then the final product will be an online cookbook on youblisher.com that I'll upload and they can access and share with their parents and their friends and their family over the holidays. And so that is a real world experience for them. We're able to use numbers, the spreadsheet program. The students do a lot of work with reading graphs and uh, making some predictions from graphs. As the year progresses, we do more and more. And that's a real world application for our technology that we have. Creativity is a real world application. Being able to problem solve and make it work is important. And understanding the thinking outside of this uh, math worksheet is important. I think going into it, I, I imagined that there would be one type of student that could really embrace the technology, the, the so-called geek, right? the, the techno nerd, as it were, who would really be able to just run with it and, and you know, do anything that I, that I or any other teacher would ask them to do. But it really hasn't been the case where only one type of student has really benefited. Um, every student is capable of doing different things with the technology. There are some students that are really good at making an iMovie. There are some students that are really good at putting together a spreadsheet. But when I get them together, they sort of feed off of each other's abilities. And so I try to create assignments where they have different components. Right? Maybe you need to do an iMovie and produce some type of flyer in pages. So by working together uh, on those two separate types of technology, they can develop skills that they may not have had going into it.
So it's not really one type of student, one demographic, one type of exceptionality that has benefited more from the technology. It's really all students that benefit in different ways. And that's really what we, we hope to achieve here. I believe that technology motivates our students. Being able to use the technology is a true motivator. They're more motivated through technology. However, when it boils down to it, the true motivator for students is just understanding that someone's there to encourage them, not make them feel bad, not, you know, judge them. So I think students are motivated to my expectations. You know, if I'm their biggest cheerleader, then they don't want to disappoint me. They want to please me and they want me to see that they're working hard. We as teachers now are more guidance rather than leaders. And I don't think it's necessary to have you regurgitate the information like maybe when we went to school and memorize everything. If we can make sure that they know how to find that the information, that's more our role.